cadets. I'm excited. It's strength day. I'm getting, I'm getting to like strength day more and more. You better like it. It's like my first. What do you mean? It's like it's my first time doing strength. What do you mean getting? We've only been doing it for like years and years, like too many years. You know what it is? Years. I'll tell you what it is. I wasn't doing that much strength training before we started this series. I was doing a lot of cardio and running and stuff. And so it was difficult for me on this moment. So I'm getting a little bit stronger and I think I'm liking it more. I think, I think that, that I can also say the same for cardio. This my is the favorite. honest creeping yeah. zero. <laughs> um, my get... endurance is picking up because the last 30% more, so last week in... <laughs> 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 that is so honest. What is happening? It's the honest creep. <laughs> you get closer and closer. Dun, 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 dun. So the last 30% more where I did the cardio, I, I really enjoyed it. I was like having a party without any music. So, so I, I can you were saying cardio cardio is a bit of a fake and now it's a real No, one. it's still a party or cardio, but typically like if I'm doing cardio on my own, there's loud music or something to rile me up. And here we're rallying each other yeah, up. So true. it's a little bit harder to be You're a self starter. Me up, true. To be honest, it's a little bit harder to be a self starter without that music and it's hard for me to get through it. Like I'm, I'm carrying more weight around now than um, I do in the summertime, just because it's bulking season. Yeah, uh, hibernation. <laughs> hibernation, you know, like storing honey in my cheeks for the winter. So <laughs> it's hard to move me around sometimes. <laughs> honey. All right. <laughs> On that note. On that note. Let's do it. Need. So 40 seconds work, 20 seconds rest. Eight exercises, then we're gonna go into the finisher, which is core. All of the core, all right? The 360. That was my shimmy to the finisher. All right, so what we need for equipment? We need the sculpt bar. We need some plates or some dumbbells, okay? So we're gonna do a squat. Um, so whatever you need for that. And I have dumbbells as an option. And then a pink thing, or if you have the cables that came with the bench, that might be, you can dig around with that yeah, kind of. and like resistance based on what you need. Yeah, we're doing a fly, so. Um, you can hook it multiple times Super in the hooks. Fly. Are you gonna do that for an option? Or not you... gonna do that for an option, I'm gonna use pink thing. Okay, we have to move quickly here. Me, I'm super fly. In TV land, but you guys can stop and um, finagle with the... You can pause us, just don't pause us in this. Yeah, pause <laughs> us like something a... nice. I love that when they do posts and we're in the background on the TV and we're like... <laughs> like I'm, I'm usually Jesus. like this. <laughs> Eyes are always freaking closed. Thank you guys. I appreciate the post though, honestly. <laughs> I love seeing that. It's very like surreal. It makes me laugh. It's so cool. It makes me laugh because then I realize that my eyes truly are always closed. Yeah. They truly I'm are always to closed. See that too. Anyways, okay, here let's we go. Warm up. We've done this warm up before. Starting with neck mobility, 30 second movements. As you wish, guys, at your own pace. This is where I get lost. My eyes. See, eyes are closed. <laughs> It just feels so good. I'm gonna pass here, I feel like. I tend to carry a lot of tension in my neck and traps. So this time right now feels so good. So I'm starting to just feel like with women actually. Yeah. I feel like with everybody, right? I think more with women. I don't know. That's in my experience anyway. Alright, shoulder rolls. So we're moving down the body a bit. You're going reverse. I'm going forward to start. I'm going forward now. See, this is like getting into all my tight spots. I feel like the some idea. stretches feel better than others for us based on Reverse. where we need the release or the stretch or mobilizing. Oh. Turn it into arms if you wish. Ooh, you can get that pink thing in there if you'd like. Yes. All right, forward bend. So nice deep breath. Hands up high, folding down in front. Stay here if you'd like. Coming back up. So it's important to remember as well that we don't want to hold the stretch for too long at the beginning of a workout. Post a workout, you can definitely hold it for a long time. But at the beginning, we want to make sure we stay dynamic. So no more than just a few seconds if you want to hang down. All right, come on down. We're gonna go into those graphic frog adductor stretches. So bring those knees nice and wide. The graphic yeah. frog? <laughs> we got flack for these. That's all right. I like the feedback. It's good to know what people are thinking. Oh, so 
mobilizing in this adductor stretch. Pushing that weight forward, backwards. So you want to go to stretch, not pain. <laughs> like, now you tell me. Yes. <laughs> okay. Ooh. And up on our knees. We're going to do a thoracic rotation. So bring that hand behind the head. And then we're going to look up, follow that gaze to the side of the wall, wherever you're looking. Opening up that chest. Coming back to neutral. Again, you can hold it there for a few seconds. That's it. Feels so good to move the thoracic. Can you see timing? I can't see timing. You guys and use that word a lot. Thoracic. Yeah. I'm wondering what it is, aren't don't you? Thoracic spine is the portions of your spine that are encased with the rib cage. So from about here to about the base of your floating ribs. Okay, it's actually where we should be rotating from, not from the lower lumbar. Because if you think about it, that lower lumbar has nothing to protect it. When your spine rotates, it's just spine. A lot of people turn from there, which can result in jarring or injury. So when we rotate, we actually need to rotate from the thoracic. That's <laughs> rotation 101. I hope you guys are following Jesse that whole time. We're in our yogi position. So we're up on our toes, hands below the shoulders. Send the weight backwards. Think of trying to reach your bum towards your heels. Knees hovering off the ground. And as we extend forward, nice long line from the back of your head all the way through the heels. Feels so good. Get a couple deep squats in. Coming up to calf raise up on those toes. All right, we're gonna start on the bench. So grab your bench and stand on top of it. So make sure you're in a nice and secure place in your house. I'm gonna use the plate. Tammy's using dumbbells. So it's a narrow stance, obviously. And on the timer, we're just gonna come down into a narrow squat. You'll see that we have more range of motion. We can come below the bench, which is why Speak we're Speak for yourself. <laughs> it's based on your own mobility. Yeah. You want to make sure that your back stays nice and flat so we're not rounding. So don't try to get below that bench by rounding your back. So remember your angles. The angle in your thigh should match the angle in your from your hips, your back, your spine. Three, two, and one. Okay. Nicely done. We're gonna stay here, We're right? Stay here. Yeah. Let's do it again. We're gonna do sets. Okay. When we have all this equipment, it's easier to just stay where we're at, perfect the movement, load it up as you need. Would you do more than this normally? Yeah. Yeah, we're on in five seconds for sure. And like, our stance is fairly narrow because of the bench. So when you lower it down, Make sure our ankles stay together, your knees stay fairly close, and the shin angle matches the angle in your back. You're just looking down in front of the bench. Sending your bum back, but you also notice your knees do have to drive forward in order for you to get nice and low while maintaining a nice flat back. So we're focusing also on deep flexion through the ankle. Got five more seconds. Shove through those heels. Three, two, and one. That feels better. Yeah. I feel like the first one's always like warm up, warm up, getting the kinks out, lubing up the joints, and then once you're loosey goosey, smooth sailing. Mm -hmm. Lots of people do four sets for that reason. Yeah. Yeah. Well, do set. that first set without three. weight, and then get going. Add three on weighted. It's actually a great idea if you're new to resistance training to just do a practice set, get used to the movement, the you'll, postures. You'll find that you get much deeper by that third and fourth set. Oh, don't round the shoulders if you've loaded up. Quads 
are going to be burning. Next yeah. we have Bulgarian split squats. So, Ooh. rest. Okay, we're going to go and grab those bars. We're going to back rack it, and then we're going to come to the front of our bench, okay? So, left leg on the ground, right leg on the top of your bench. Make sure that that foot is still hip distance apart, even though one is lifted, and then we're lowering down. So we have a deeper range of motion through the quad of that back leg. When you lower down, you still want to think of your lunge principles, making sure that that knee, front knee, stays in line with your toe, doesn't go too far beyond. So as you lower down, you should just almost hide your foot and that back knee hovering off the ground, really focusing on lifting and lowering not going forward and back. Okay, we have five more seconds here. Three, two, and one. Okay, we're gonna switch sides. If you feel a huge stretch in the hip flexor, it's not really what we're trying to do. You probably wanna back it up if that's the case. Back it up. Okay. Also, that foot on the bench, your toe can be tucked under, or the top of your toe can be flat. That means you're working. Whatever feels better for your body, okay? Gaze forward, lower down. Think of pushing through the mound of each toe and the outside edge of your foot. Don't let your knee, knee roll into center. And for our last set, we're gonna have to split the time. Oh, so good. Use your breath. Almost there. Six seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Finish it. Okay. What are you starting on? Right leg or left leg? Thing. Right leg or left leg? I'm going to start on left. Switch it up. Okay. Left foot in front of me. Woo. Okay, three seconds. Let's get our weights up. Here we go. So we'll let you know when to switch. Take your time. I don't want you to rush through this. If you need to work into your rest a little bit, you can. And we are switching in three, two, one. Ah, where is my bench? Where is it? There we go. Breathe. So we're gonna keep our sculpt bars for our next exercise. To grab a plate. You guys are going to need either the corner where two walls meet the corner or you can use a plate, a heavier plate. We're going to do a landmine for an anti-rotation movement, meaning we're going to stop from rotating, just like with the Russian twist. So we're going to plant it in. And take the weight off that end, stack it on this. You don't really need anything at that end, actually. I'm still going. <laughs> I love and sometimes I could. Oh, when you're using a plate. Oh Come on. <laughs> I'm serious. You need some help, honey, child. <laughs> you got it stuck? It's stuck. There you go. Right there. You know how she always says stick it? <laughs> she stuck it. I'm not going to do it. So you can see how using the corner of a room would be easier than this. Yeah, with the walls can You work with what you have. I love some oblique work. I love me some oblique work. It gives you that nice, deep V definition through the 
yes. front abdominal. That's for bikini season, baby. Or, or everyday season. <laughs> Especially in bikini season. It's for shredding season. Right now Shred. we're in bulking season. It's for tone. It's for tone and torch season. season. Okay, we have one more of those, right? We do. And then we're going to head over to our benches. Okay, we're on in four, three, two, let's do it. I did so not big. get any sleep last night. No? No. I feel like Why not? the Jessica was having a late night conversation and your daughter came in your room, right? And I was like, she went to the washroom and thought it was morning. I was like, oh, Brooklyn sleeps through the night. She's amazing. She really, truly is. Like, she usually comes out and tells me to be too loud and like, wants to sleep in more. Anyways, so she woke up at 4 a.m. and said she's having a hard time sleeping. 10 seconds. So yeah, 4 a.m. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Okay, so next up we're going to head over to the bench. Let's drop the stopped bars to the ground. And we're going to use the pink things in the interest of time. But if you have the cables, you can take them under the loops. You might need to double them up to get the right amount of resistance. We're gonna come to laying flat on the bench. We talked about this in our last strength. You wanna make sure that your feet are nice and flat on the floor. And then we're just bringing the palms towards each other. Have a micro bend in those elbows, okay? Taking them wide, feeling a nice stretch across the front of the body. And then do a quick check. Make sure the shoulders are wide, those back ribs are pushed into the bench. There's a small natural curve in the lower back. And then push through the feet to find a little bit more energy. Final check, your breath. Inhale and exhale. Always remember, if you're using the pink thing like we are, you can walk your hands up the rungs to give yourself more tension. Get it. Get it. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna run up. That's the beauty. I know, it's so I love easy it. to add more resistance. Ta-da! Okay, we are back in 10 seconds. Take a nice big inhale as you open up and exhale to come together, okay? Get ready to work. Let's do it! Yeah, I feel like any time we talk about how well they do something, I jinx it. The kids? Yeah. Like what? what like happens? sleep. Yeah. It's like, Jesus, you always complain that you don't get enough sleep, but now you're up at 4 a.m. <laughs> and then, been talking about it. yeah, so then on top of her being in the bed, she couldn't get comfortable. She's like, I need you to hug me from this angle, not this angle. Maybe I need to go on the other side. Maybe I need a different blanket. Jesus. Five seconds. It's gotten a little tougher at this point. I like it. Whenever we're doing chest, I feel the need to work through the entire rest. So I'm gonna do what comes naturally and just keep going. Here we go. Let's try to add a little bit of tempo to keep some tension on that pink thing or cable the entire time, okay? We're working if you rest it. So lower down for three, two, one. Don't let the slack out of your cable or your pink thing and then we're coming back up. I was doing like three, a claw thing no. with my hands. Say what? I thought we were doing three, two, one. Three, three two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Oh, that feels so good. It does. I could stay here forever. Or until my chest completely fatigues. So three. <laughs> if you feel like you're not getting fatigue as you go on, and I was, I just wanted to keep going because I love the way it feels, you can grab dumbbells with your pink thing or your cables as well to add a little bit more resistance. Okay, what do we got next, homie? All right, we have a skull bar clean and press. Okay. All right, so what we're gonna do is grab that skull bar, we're gonna clean it from the bottom, bringing those elbows around so it's just above the clavicle, Bend in the knee and press up. Lift and press. So we're gonna work it a little bit faster now. Touch down. Touch down! So watch when you come up into that overhead press. You're not 
hyperextending. You can see how dangerous that would be. You just want to come straight up, okay? And you want to fully extend the elbow without pulling the weight backwards. Oh, make sure you have the right weight, especially if it's a new move for you. And then the cue to get it up, the clean part, is to bring the elbow around, okay? It's a little flick of the wrist. A little flick. A little flick. Flick it. Okay, two, one. Let's get those weights up. Flick it good. It's kind of fun. It's a lot of fun. Throwing your weight around. It's like a superhero move. Halfway through the second set, starting to feel a little different now. Almost there, eight seconds. Come on. Last one. So you guys, if you got through that and you're like not really feeling anything, add it on now. Pause. Add on the weight, okay? Strength thing. Strength thing. Take the bar just above the shoulders, okay? Stack it, shoulders are into the bench, and you can take your feet up if you like or keep them bent. And we are just pushing the weight to the ceiling. You can figure out what weight works best for you here. If you want more weight, go ahead, pause us. I give you permission <laughs> and add some weight on. It's important here that you keep the weight over your shoulders. You don't want to take it over the head at all, okay? Or over the belly button. We're pushing it up. So keep it directly over the shoulders. And as you curl up, we're exhaling and decreasing the space between those lower floating ribs and your hips, those two front hip bones. Okay, nice. And really, when you push up, we're not coming off of the bench a huge amount. We're just coming to the base of those posterior ribs, okay? Or the base of the shoulder blades. It's a small movement. It's a teeny tiny, teeny tiny little movement. Okay, we can also add a little bit of a pulse, a little tempo if you'd like. Pushing into the feet, as always. You can pulse it out or stick with that nice lift and lower. Remember to breathe. Always trying to exhale, getting all the air out of the diaphragm as you push the weight to the ceiling. Nice. Yoko over there. Eight seconds. Okay, two pulses. If you want to add on to this a little bit, you can always take your feet up towards the sky. Okay? And think of pulsing towards the toes. Or keep them on the ground if you feel unstable. Same rules apply. Keep your eye on that bar. Rotate it so you see body rock. <laughs> and keep your eye on body rock. We gonna rock that body. 15 seconds. Keep it up. Literally. <laughs> or else. Yeah. Don't get the 
Money maker. That's what the business is. Um, <laughs> you don't know. Now you know. Okay, exhale. Lift. Shoulders down and back. Okay, this is our last exercise before we go into that core finisher. What? Yeah. So we got one more step to this. I know, right? That means I have to give it all. <laughs> okay. We never want to feel this in our lower back at all. Squeeze your glutes. Push those feet together. Seconds. That's it. Oh, getting harder. That's what she said. Oh, God. <laughs> Again, if you volley it up, I, know, I, know. I have a bat in my hands. You expect me not to hit it out of the park. I, know. I expect it. Right? Sometimes I'm just out to lunch and I don't realize I'm serving. You know, I don't think when someone serves, they ever fully realize it. That's the thing. <laughs> There we go, last set. Like we always say, if you're not feeling anything yet, you guys should have paused us and loaded up that weight. Oh, I feel it. I feel it. Oh. Don't forget about the core. Drop belly button to spine. Knit the ribs. We don't want to be flaring like this and rounding the back. Trying to isolate the movement. Seven seconds. Ow. Mommy. <laughs> Puppy. Papa? Oh. Okay. Oh, that was oh. a good one. All right, guys. We're going to need the same equipment, I think. We need to go guard on the bench. Four, the finisher, and it's all about the core, all right? 